What's up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, creator of the Outright Bar, as well as partner in the Ambrosia Collective and 015 Nutrition. Now, a lot of people are looking to lose weight. Why? For the summer, because everything going on, being lean is healthier, but we're also looking at ways to increase our well, aesthetics, to make ourselves look better. And that means losing fat in areas that it's really hard to lose fat. Now, spot reducing is kind of BS. I can't just do crunches and expect to have flabby arms and shredded abs, right? You can't spot reduce. You need to lose fat throughout your whole body. But believe it or not, there is a supplement that I've talked about for years and years and years, haven't talked about for a long time that I wanted to talk about again, and that is Yohimbine HCL. Now, Yohimbine doesn't make you lose fat. What it does is when you lose fat, it helps your body lose fat from areas that your body tends to hold on to more fat. At. You see what I'm saying? So for example, males, you have your stomach, you have your lower back, you have your love handles. Females, your hips, your thighs, your buttocks. What Yohimbine does is if you are hypocaloric, which is eating less calories than you're burning, and you're losing fat, it will help you lose fat in those trouble areas. Let me explain, and let me make this video as quick and concise as possible, how to use Yohimbine and also why it works. Now, I'm gonna use my write-up for this because I wrote it a long time ago, and it's really easy to understand. So Yohimbine works on the alpha receptors. Alpha receptors inhibit fat breakdown. So whenever, wherever they are abundant, you have a harder time losing fat in that area. For example, they are in high concentration in men's lower back and abs and in women's hips and thighs. Yohimbine HCL, right here, acts as an alpha receptor blocker. Since alpha receptors inhibit fat breakdown and Yohimbine HCL inhibits alpha receptors, the net result is that you get an increase in fat breakdown. Thus, you get a significant increase in fat breakdown directly from an area that normally is the hardest place to lose it from. This is one reason why people like me always recommend their clients take Yohimbine HCL to lose fat. So the next question is, Mark, how do I take it? Number one is we have to go off label. Now, if you go on label, it's basically consume one capsule one to two times daily. Because the instructions are so in-depth, we do have this on the Tiger Fitness page for Yohimbine HCL, which I'm going to link down below where you can also buy MTS Nutrition Yohimbine. This is mine, um, tested and verified for efficacy, potency, quantitative, qualitative. You know me in quality. I'm a stickler for it, right? So basically, your dosing is 0.2 milligrams per kilogram body weight daily which means for a 220 pound bodybuilder, you take that number and you divide it by point by 2.2. So you take 220 divided by 2.2 to get kilograms. Now that means that you will need throughout the day, remember 0.2 milligrams per kilogram body weight daily. Take 220 divided by 2.2 means you take 20 milligrams of Yohimbine daily. 20 milligrams of this. These are 2.5 milligrams per cap. Those are people lose their mind. For a 220 pound person, that means you would take eight Yohimbine HCL daily. Now, obviously, as you go down in weight, if you're 200, you'll probably take whatever it is, seven. If you're like 180, you take six, and so on and so forth. As you go down in weight, you go down in dose needed. When do you take this? Now, this is a question. Now, if you do fasted cardio, if you do cardio in the morning, you take it all before that cardio session, but you don't start at that, right? So no matter what you're dosing is, you start at one cap, and then you go up by one cap each dose as tolerance is assessed. Some people, like anything, some people have reactions to different things. Some people get really wigged out on Yohimbine, and really wigged out on caffeine, and really wigged out on whatever it is they're taking. Want to make sure you're safe, want to make sure you're going up in dose, so only go up by one cap at a time, start at one capsule. Now, Let's say you take a pre-workout. You can stack your himbine with that pre-workout in most cases. Again, assess your tolerance. A good way of doing it, if you do cardio post-workout, you're already depleting your glucose during the workout, so about 15 minutes before the end of your workout. So let's say before your last exercise, where there's 15 minutes left before you do cardio, you take your Yohimbine, 15 to 20 minutes, whatever. Now, it is said that Yohimbine works best in a fasted state. Not all of us do fasted cardio. If you do fasted cardio, perfect time to take Yohimbine. So the bottom line is, insulin is not black and white. 
That doesn't mean that if you have one carbohydrate, you're gonna have the same reaction insulin wise as if you eat 800 grams of carbohydrate. So what I say to that is be sensible, right? Now, if you're gonna use it pre-cardio and you want the best benefit, don't do cardio right after a high carbohydrate meal. Do cardio maybe an hour or two after a meal. That's fast enough for me. Your blood sugar is regulated. Make sure you're there, do your cardio, and then you can go ahead and eat. Or you can wait a little bit and eat after that. You know, there's a, there's a fine line between, um, you know, having high insulin and having acceptable insulin, right? Now, a lot of people look at it black and white. They say, well, unless you're fasted, it doesn't work. And I disagree with that. I think that you can definitely make this work if you're not fasted. Just have to use some common sense. And if you, again, like after having a big, huge bolus meal where your insulin's sky high, not a good idea. After downing dextrose, after eating nothing else, not a good idea. But if you're on a controlled carbohydrate diet, if you're not eating a ton of carbs, ton of uh, a ton of calories, then you're gonna be pretty controlled. But again, if I'm gonna pick the two best times to take this before cardio, it's gonna be either fasted AM training, okay, fasted AM cardio, or post-workout taken right before the end of your workout before that cardio session. But let's say you're not working out that day. Well, Mark, I'm not working out, how do I take it? Simple, divide it into two doses. Take it upon waking and wait a few minutes before eating, wait a half hour, hour before eating, and take it sometime later in the day between meals. Let's say you have three hours between meals, take it about an hour, hour and a half after that meal. But there are ways to do this, but again, I like it taken, if you're doing cardio, I like it taken all in one dose, pre-cardio. And if you have a fat burner you're taking with it, what I recommend is if that fat burner has yohimbine, you obviously subtract that or add that into your 0.2 milligrams per kilogram body weight so you don't take it. So let's say you have two pills worth in your fat burner or five milligrams, then you take, let's say you're 220, so you're supposed to take eight of these, only take six, right? This can be stacked with your fat burner. Um, but I wouldn't take it too close to bed because if it is, I'm sorry, even though it is a non-stimulant, so to speak, it does have some stimulant effects in a lot of people. So I would take this anywhere, eh, you know what, about three to four hours before bed, I wouldn't take it, right? I wouldn't take it at that point. I take it earlier in the day. Now, I want to also mention as a side note, wasn't even going to go into this, it says on this label, boost sex drive. Now, Yohimbine has been used for years in alternative medicine because it is a vasodilator, which means it makes your blood vessels increase in volume. Basically, it vasodilates, right? Dilates. So what does that mean? Well, how do you get erections? More blood to the penis. So this can definitely help with male performance, with libido, and with erectile strength. There you go, guys. I highly recommend Yohimbine. Highly recommend it. If you're not cutting, you're not hypocaloric, you might take it for its benefits, you know, the whole boner thing. But if you're looking for a fat loss aid, it's very inexpensive. It's under, it's, it's extremely inexpensive to take this stuff. It's a great addition to your supplement plan. I'm Mark Lobon. I'm gonna link down below. Buy this from Tiger Fitness. Support us and MTS Nutrition. Tiger Fitness, of course, 015 Nutrition, Ambrosia. All the companies I'm a part of, you see this shirt right here. Rider Wear, I have a coupon for that. They have amazing shoes. I wear them in all my training videos. Riderwear.com, coupon code LOBLINER and you'll save some money there. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Get all your stuff at tigerfitness.com. Like this channel, subscribe, <laughs> like this channel. Well, you should like it. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, click on the notification bell. See you next time. That's not a game. Man, I love me some chocolate chip cookies and milk. Mm. Oh, it's chocolate chip cookies and milk. Chocolate chip cookie MTS way. Made with real cookie bits. Mm, delicious.